Wait a freaking second. We have character customization now? What? Okay, factions too? Oh, bro, shut up. So I can either choose to be a Volk or I can be a ghost, baby. In the same way, I really like just doing, like, the black gear. So I might go with Volk, to be completely honest. Please tell me I have it. Toast? Yes! We got the toast tag, baby! Let's go! This is amazing. On a game to this scale, we're literally gonna have such a clean username, bro. The toast tag, baby! Let's go! I am so down to rock some games right now. And what I need to do right off the bat is I need to just, like, get in the game, start grinding as much as possible, and just... Get ahead, dude, because we we need to get some stuff done. But also, it looks like it kept a lot of our quest that we already had from our last time that we were playing. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is probably the earliest I've been up in terms of doing videos. Because right now, it is wipe day. It is wipe day, baby! Here on Ghost of Tabor, and I just have to say right off the bat... I am so excited for this update, man. Like, I have been waiting for this new wipe in order to get back to grinding this game. Because if you guys don't know, wipe days are some of the biggest days in terms of, like, Ghost of Tabor. And what we got for this wipe reward is something brand new. Here is the beautiful wipe reward, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Ghost of Tabor hat, which now this is, like, super, super weird because I have the one-shot energy choose in real life and I also have the Ghost of Tabor hat that they gave us at the event a while back and now we have it as a wipe reward and also in real life so that is like super super weird but let's go and chuck that right back on our like little guy ladies and gentlemen I don't even want to like collect anything right now I just want to go and hop into raids get some crazy kills and see what we can possibly do here on Ghost of Tabor so without further ado let's go back to the play button and I'm gonna actually go and do some missile silo just to warm up and also get myself prepared for what's about to happen here because I literally have zero weapons and I'm just gonna run into this and hope for the best it is literally 8 30 in the morning I am tired I'm a tired little boy but I am excited to try some Ghost of Tabor and see, um, okay, we might have just hopped into a mid-game, and I'm probably going to get myself screwed over here, unless I can find a gun. Let's see, is there anything that we can maybe get? Gun? Gun? Hello? Can I please grab this? Let me grab gun. Thank you. Gun grabbed. Okay, let's go, baby. I gotta remember, there's also bleeding in this too, um, and I am not ready for that because I have not played in a good minute, and I'm literally just hopping right into wipe with the brand new update of Missile Silo 2, which is super, super exciting. Gotta make sure my mic is not going on in game as well. And I just heard this guy over here too. I think I hear some other players. What's going on over here? I hear like a radio or something. Unless is that, that might just be, the evac? What? I don't think I've ever heard that. Ooh, we got another AK. Let's go, baby. Let's see if there's going to be any players that decide to rush us. Push it. Nice! Okay, am I bleeding? You got me weak. Okay, that's bad. But we got a player kill. Let's go. I am bleeding. This is bad. Is there any bandages? I need bandages desperately before I bleed out. Come on! Let me through! Come on, please. Nice! Okay. So we need to go and bandage up as fast as possible. Go and throw that bad boy on. We got another backpack too. Okay, let's go and change our stuff there. At least we stopped our bleeding, which is great. But we also need to find some more heals because, man, we are weak as can be. And I do not feel good, my friend. I am hurting. I got a lot of pain. But I'm pretty sure I just completed my, like, five-player kill quest. No way. Do we trade? No! We did get two kills, though. And this time around, wait a second. That is super weird because now we actually have the two different factions that we can choose from. So instead of killing ghost players, I killed other Volks. 
That is super, super cool, dude. I think a lot of players are probably going to be choosing the Volt faction just because, like, having the dark, you know, like, character skin there, I think is going to make it a lot easier to blend in for some of these raids. But also, right off the bat, we managed to go and get our five player kills without dying. So let's go and claim that bad boy. And then also, what else I need to do here? Shoot, you know what? I might... I'm kind of debating it, boys. I'm thinking something that might be a good decision is I might go and buy, like, a backpack and possibly even get some bandages because going into these raids like completely naked is probably just going to be a really really bad decision so i'm going to go and throw this quest back on um we need to kill 15 players in five raids we also need to get 10 players with assault rifles which i don't really need that quest let's do smgs for this one okay and then let's go back to tabor market and i think to go and run these raids i might just throw on like an mp40 or something just to have like early early raids going on and boy i am a red little man what the freak is going on okay so let's go and grab a chest rig i think for this i gotta assume i have a decent amount of money to start out right let's go and see what we got we have five hundred thousand dollars in our wallet which is amazing so let's go back to the products and i think i'm gonna chuck on a lbav and also grab some armor modules because this is going to be incredibly helpful for what we're about to go and do within these raids, dudes. So let's go and scan that bad boy. And then also, do we need any helmet? Oh, wait. Do I have these just unlocked? What? Okay, so I guess we just have these helmets completely unlocked for this. What? Okay, wait a minute. So we got our gear. I don't think we really need anything else. So let's just go and favorite this. Right? We'll go and buy that. We'll buy three of them. Perfect. And we should be able to make this money back, like, no time flat. I think what I'm going to just go and try to do is basically try out the MP40 for the most part throughout these raids. Um, so let's go to SMGs. And we're going to do... Ooh. What do we actually have unlocked for all of our guns? And did I... Wait, what? Why does this look gold? Okay, for some reason this looked like super, super gold. But is this a new gun? The CX-8 Storm. What? I don't think I've ever heard of this thing. Okay, so let's go back to Magazine and see what else they actually got for these bad boys. Because we might be able to go and try some new weapons. Okay, I'm going to just look through all of these and see what else they got. They got the AUG, the Galil, the Tapco. I don't think we've actually seen that one yet. That looks new. What else did they got? The G3A3, the VSS, the FAMAS. Okay, any new handguns, baby? I got to see if there's... Okay, they got a Deagle... Yo, they got a USP now? Oh, that is so exciting, bro. I cannot wait to go and use the USP. Dude, they got so many things to go and look through. The LMG, which is just the bar. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go and try out the CX-8 Storm here and see if this is going to be any good during our raids. The only question is, though, is, uh, is this, like, super expensive to go and use compared to some of my other guns? I don't think I've ever used this. Oh, my God. Wait a second. This thing might actually shred. Okay, CX-8, we are going to have some fun, dude. Wait a freaking minute. Brand new gun. Hello, welcome to the squad. We're going to have some fun on Missile Salaman and try this thing out. So let's go and bump out one custom CX-8. And then I'll also save the magazines. Let's go and buy that. And then we'll buy a ton of these mags. I should be doing this on day one, but in the same way... It's screaming by me right now because I have not had a chance to use this brand new gun and I am just stoked to have the chance to do this, dude. It feels so good to be back in Tabor and this time, like, I'm gonna grind, bro. Like, I need to get my spoon collection up. I need to just go, like, crazy this wipe and make sure, like, I go, like, balls to the wall in terms of grinding, dude. Like, I am so ready. As for this, I might just go and bring in just, like, three extra mags and, like, oh, no, I need a backpack, though. Shoot, I didn't even think of that. Okay, I definitely need to go and grab a backpack because I'm not going to go into this raid without bandages. Bandages are just a must now that the bleeding system is actually a thing. So I'm going to go back to Tabor. Okay, I got to go back to the market. And then I need to grab some freaking backpacks. And I also need to get some of these meds. So let's go to medicine. We got bandages. Thank you, good sir. You're going to have to let me know what you guys think about this update, man. Because I am just excited to be back in it. And wait, a sling backpack? You have to unlock the actual adventure backpack now? Oh no way, it's a baby backpack! You gotta be kidding, dude. So I should have actually tried to evac with that other backpack then. This thing is so tiny. I can maybe fit like a pistol in this thing, but that's about it. So I'm gonna buy five of these little baby backpacks and just go into raids with this dude. What? 
Okay, we are playing a whole new game right now. We got character customization. We got factions. We got our new wipe rewards. We got new backpacks, um, bleeding systems. Dude, there is so much stuff to take in right now, and I am just... I'm stoked, bro. I am so stoked. So let's go and chuck in some of these little baby bandages, okay? Gotta make sure that these actually stay in. Nice. So we're gonna have to really pack these tight if we decide to go and do this for our next raids. Um, this is gonna be- this is gonna be scary, dudes. I'm, like, both excited, but also not ready for what's about to happen here. But we got tons of bandages and- you know what? These I'm gonna keep. I don't want to rebuy these because I'm lazy. So, most of the time I chuck everything out that I get, but in this case, I'm gonna keep these bandages and these nerds because I think they're gonna be incredibly helpful. But also, wait a second. Do we have to buy the upgrades in order to get these rooms? We don't even have med bay unlocked. Wait, so we got the kitchen, but we don't have the, the maintenance room unlocked anymore. Okay, wait, so how much stuff do we actually have locked right now? Even our gun wall? Oh, dude. So everything. We have to, like, earn everything, dude. Other than, obviously, all the guns that they put in here. But, oh my god, they gave us a bunch of goodies. Okay, so let's get back into Missile Silo. And what I want to go and try, ladies and gentlemen, is I want to use the CX-8 and see if this thing is any good. Because, I mean, dude, it's got a crazy fire rate. So I gotta assume it's got some, like, you know, decent firepower as well to go along with it. So let's go and test this bad boy out and see what we can possibly do here with Intabor. But only question is, though, with our new found sling, I'm excited to see if, like, our weight conservation is going to be a lot better just since, so like, we have such a light backpack. Okay, we should be fine here. I'm going to go and loot this up. There's nothing in there. Did they lower the chances of getting nerds now? That's actually scary if that's the case. I can't jump up this. Oh, God, this is bad. I'm waiting it out. There's a little guy, like, right next to me. Peek it, dude. Peek it. Sorry, buddy. Two down. <laughs> Land a bitch. Oh, my God. There was a guy behind me. I didn't even hear him come. He was so silent. How did I hear him? <laughs> he was... I only heard his backpack. That's the only thing that got me. Okay, I'm half health, but I'm not bleeding. Hello? Okay, I gotta wait this out, boys. This is scary. He's in middle right now. He's literally on the staircase as we speak. I hear his mic going, too. Peek it, brother. Peek it, brother. Do it. I know he's there. I just want to wait it out. Let's see if we can just slow creep this. I heard him on the stairs. Okay, I'm just gonna run for it. I'm gonna just try to take his loot and see if he's got any nerds. Okay, nothing, dude. A whole lot of nothing. I will go and take that suppressor though. Thank you. Is that gonna fit on my SMG? Nope. Okay. So I need to go grab my sling. Oh my gosh. It's so tiny. There's like nothing you can fit in this bad boy. It feels so weird to be using such like a low amount of like item space. I don't know what to think yet. So we got two players down. But my biggest thing that I got to focus on right now is trying to get my heals back. Lots of shots going on. Hello? Is there another guy down here? I just heard a lot of ricochets going on. Okay. They might be down below. But we might also be lucky and be able to go and get a... Okay. Yep, we got another guy there. Let's go up. Let's wait this out, boys. How much we got left in our mag? So we got another guy down in the second room there. I could just go and rush it, but in the same way... I think I'm just, just gonna, like, try to go and grab some heals because we are in desperate need of something, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't even know what to think right now. Can we open this up? Come on. Thank you. I don't know if this guy's, like, rushing. I didn't hear the door going, so I don't assume that he pushed. I hear his backpack still going.
Be good, brother. Let's go. I think I hit him. I lasered that man. Okay, let's open it up. No way he saw me from that angle. Oh, he must have saw my right arm peeking that. No way, bro. I thought I had it. Like, I was literally, like, trying to hug wall so he wouldn't see me, but he must have just got, like, such a slight angle on me there. Unfortunate. All right, so we're going to be doing a little bit of an analysis of what just happened there. So if you guys were watching this, apparently what it said is that I was hit in my right lower arm, which didn't really make sense to me, so I wanted to go and look back at this when I went to edit, and it just turns out it must have just been, like, a latency type of thing where he saw something that I didn't because, literally, my right arm was behind this door, and somehow this man still managed to shoot my hand. If you notice a specific frame right here, if you guys see that blood splatter, you can notice that it's, like, kind of in front of the door where my body isn't even near. So I gotta assume this is, like, some server side type of thing, but still unfortunate because I thought I was in cover, but apparently I wasn't. This is just one of those, like, typical net code type of things where it's, like, you are behind something. Thing, but the player sees something different. But regardless, good kill, man. It was a fun plan, and let's get back to it. But we still managed to get another two player kills off of that, which is still fine by me. But in the same sense, I do need to be a little bit more cautious with what we're going to be planning here. Because, guys, I need to go and build this collection, man, and go as crazy as possible. But in the same way, these first days, I think a really important thing that we should try to focus on is really just trying to grind through a lot of, like, the levels for our traders. Because, they're, like, the faster we can get through that, the better. But let's go and collect our Elbev vest. We'll go and chuck that on if we can. You know what? I don't know why I didn't do this before. Um, let's go and take one nerd okay wait actually i think i might have had a nerd the last time if i remember correctly i feel like i took one but i might be crazy okay so we got the nerd we got our bandage and then also how are we looking on our quest right now let's go to missions so we got kill five players without dying three times um we got kill 15 players in five raids which is a reset unfortunately i thought we were a little bit better on that one but unfortunately, that is not the case. So let's just go back to Missile Silo, and I'm going to grind this like crazy. And then I think for the next video that I follow up, I'm probably going to do some Matka Miest, because I have been really liking that map too. But just in the sake of like really grinding on like the new white man, I want to try my best to just focus on getting like Missile Silo runs and just like really, really push engagements as much as I possibly can to really feel out this new update and really test out like this brand new gun that we got here on Tabor, man. But I'm not going to lie. The players that I've been versing right now, they have been a little bit crack and And I need to be a lot more cautious with how I'm playing. I probably should have, like, went and brought in a helmet, though, unfortunately. Because, uh, you know, these guys have been lasering me pretty freaking easy with it. But wait a second. There's lighting now? What? Oh, you're not dead. You should have been dead a long time ago, my friend. Let's see. How do we look? Can I throw that in? Thank you. Okay, dropping that mag. Gonna switch out. Perfect. I don't think anyone's rushing me yet, so I should be able to go and push this. Only question is, though, is there gonna be a player on the opposite side of this? I hear someone running. I think that's a Fennec, though. Ow! You gotta be kidding me. He actually landed that shot. There we go, another one down. No, dude, there's another guy pushing. Oh, that is so unfortunate, bro. You gotta be joking me. Okay, that was just a bad push on my part. I should have thought about the fact of another player going and rushing that, but I was just, I was playing massive aggresso. Like, oh, what am I doing right now? Okay, let's go and bring some more meds because I'm definitely gonna need them. And let's get back into another raid, baby. So I just need to get what? Like two more kills, I think? If I get two more kills, I should be able to go and complete my quest. So let's go and queue up for another missile silo. You're going to be seeing a lot of fails, and you're going to be seeing some decent raids throughout today, man. Like, I just want to go and have this, like, pretty much raw of, like, all the stuff that we're going to be planning here for this brand new white man. But I'm just excited to go and get our grind and, like, actually get a successful evac here, man. Because I think we've had, what, is this three raids now that we've ended up dying in action? So we gotta, we gotta get back into it, man, and we gotta just grind it up and hopefully pull off some wins, dude. I should actually play a little bit more, like, reserved because I'm playing, like, very rush-heavy. I've been playing so many games of, like, you know, just other fast-paced FPSs, like, here within VR, man. Like, I've been going crazy with some freaking uh, contractors recently, and now it's time for us to get back used to uh, playing some Demore, my friend. And we got, ooh, we already got some action. Hello. 
I'm gonna go and rush this actually. Let's see what we can possibly do. Oh baby. There's a lot of footsteps going on and a lot of gunfire. I think he's on the opposite end. Can we rush this? I hear him. Can you not jump this anymore? They fixed the spot? No way they fixed that. They patched my freaking barrel spot? Unfortunate, dude. Okay, he's that squeaky. Is there another guy here? I thought I just heard him. Is that a player running? I might just rush squeaky. Screw it. I'm rushing squeaky. Anyone over here? That's not happening. Not worth the peek. Oh my god, it makes so much noise. Go and switch this out. He's gonna rush heavy. Oh my god. This guy, it's a Fenix pushing me? Okay, switch this out. I need to go back to my health, please. Perfect. Do you have any other heals that I can grab? Nope. Okay, screw it. I don't... There we go, another another Fenix down, I think. Other players definitely heard my engagements, though. Shoot, bro, this is bad. I'm in a really bad situation right now, because I could get pushed by multiple angles right now. I think he just bled out. Wait a second. I might be able to push this. Pretty sure this guy just bled out, man. Oh, he jumped down. He's got an extra bandage, too. I'm gonna grab that. Loot goblin! Is he here? No, he's at other squeaky. Okay, I'm rushing to other squeaky. Where'd he run? I'm pretty sure I just saw a guy. Am I tripping? Okay, so he definitely ran over to other squeaky. Only question is, does he know where I'm at? I'm going up. Screw it. Okay, he might actually be running for evac. So I'm just gonna go for this. Oh, he hears me. I hear him talking. Yep, they're at locker right now. Peek that, bro. You know I'm here. Hey, let's have some fun. Come on, buddy, old pal. I know you're at locker. Dude, I'm like so nervous right now. Run the evac. I think he ran the evac. He's got to be over here, right? Dude, he better he better be over here. I swear to God. No way! I can swear I heard his footsteps. Am I tripping? Oh my God, bro! I just got baited so hard. Was he in, like, the middle room instead of this one? I could have swore he was in locker room. Bro, I must be going crazy. I could have swore I heard him, like, literally inside locker room looting up. Okay, well, I messed up bad, boyos. I messed up bad. But either way, let's just go and loot up while we can. We might actually be able to go and get out of a successful raid here. Only problem is, is I kind of wish we could get some more kills. Because we've just been versing Fenix, my friend. Unless he is still in this room and I just walked past him. I could have swore he was here in Locker. It would have made sense because Squeaky went off. I have no clue, bro. Am I tripping? Did I just lose this guy? Or did he run off? Did he like find his like time to go and like get past me? I am so sorry, bro. 
It had to be done. Is there another guy here? I don't know if he had his arms up, but dude, I just lit up. I saw him moving, and I was ready to shoot. What do you have on him? Do you have any good guns? I am so sorry. Rest in peace, moist moms. No, not the moistest of the moms. Oh, he actually had a one-shot, too. Oh, my goodness. He would have literally just botted me if I didn't shoot him. Oh, my God. Okay, I gotta assume he's probably one of the last dudes in here. Um, we got another pistol, too. I will gladly take that. But I'm gonna go and check out the loot over here. I could have swore he was looting lockers earlier, but I guess I must have just been, like, been going crazy. It feels weird that we don't have another backpack. Like, we're literally just rocking this little sling. But I'm wondering, if we're lucky enough, we might be able to do something here. With our little MP9, or MP7, whatever you want to call this bad boy. I think we might be able to fit it in our sling. Come on. You know what? I have an idea. Let's get rid of the grenade for now. It's like a perfect size for an MP9. Okay, you know what? Screw up. I gotta focus up. Let's tee up, boys. Let's tee up. I'm gonna leave my other crap in there. Is there a suppressor? Oh my god, hello? Oh, that's a mag. Perfect. Okay, we gotta really conserve the amount of space that we use here. We still got two ticks on our mag. What else do we have in here? Let's see. Gosh, I can't grab my backpack from the other side. Is that how the sling works? Can you only grab it from, like, a certain angle? Because if so, I'm going to have to be, like, really cautious with how I play it, though. Because usually I try to be a little bit ambidextrous with the way that I grab things. Okay. I think we should be pretty much, like, ready to go crazy with loot. Because I don't think there's any other players that should be in here anymore. We got a gigantic machete, though. Hello? What? Well, I guess I shouldn't say gigantic. It's like a little Wakashi blade. But, let's go and just put this over here for now. Um, I- Oh my god, that actually scared me. I thought I was about to kill myself with a freaking blade. Okay, what do we got? Do we get any other goodies? Missile silo, you're definitely seeming a lot different than I'm used to here. So let's go and check your rate on that. We might actually be able to go and get out of a successful raid here, boyos. Okay, let's see, we got 21 minutes left to still go and rush through everything. So let's go and do this thing, baby. I am a ret to the E. Only thing is, though, is should I just go and, like, farm Fenix, bro? I feel like that might be a good idea just to go and, like, try my best to get, like, some more Fenix kills. Like, I wouldn't really be against just playing for my freaking quest right now. Like, it actually sounds kind of a fun idea, so I'm gonna go and do that. Um, but first, I'm gonna go back to the main area, because we might be lucky enough to go find some goody McGoodies of, like, some Spoonaloonies over in our main, uh, main spot. Is there any nerds? No, we just keep getting bandages, bro. Do you even find nerds anymore, like, within these raids? Or am I tripping, bro? Because we might only be able to find bandages now. Oh, my God. I feel like I've never seen the nerds anymore in this. Okay, let's go and grab that. Thank you, good sir. And what else do we have? Any other stuff sitting on these shelves? Because I would love to go and become a loot goblin. That's all I really want to do right now. We got a tape measure. Okay, I guess we got to start our tape measure collection. Let's go and put that in. Kaboom! What else we got? Okay, nothing in the second one. Ooh, we got another Luger. Hello. Good to have you. Okay, and then maybe, I think we can fit this. Let's see, I bet I just have to move this out of the way. I think we can fit this. Nice! Okay, so this little sling backpack, you do not get a lot of space, but you can make stuff work. It, it can work. Perfect. And then let's see what else that we got right on the bottom of this bad boy. We got another suppressor, it looks like, or is that a mag? <gasps> Yes, it is. Hello, you beautiful man. I need you to just stay right there, okay? I swear to God, if someone decides to come and rush me as I'm looting up as a loot goblin, I am not going to be happy. I just want to have some friends. That is a MP40, and I would gladly take you. But in the same way, I feel like I'm probably going to get more money off of the bolt action. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chuck the MP40. I'm going to steal the mag, though, because I'm definitely going to use these later on anyway. So I might as well just keep the magazines just for later on. Okay, we're still looking good on that end. Is there any other things that we could possibly find here within Missile Cell? We got some gunpowder. Wait a sec. Okay, now we're talking. Only thing is, though, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it. Um, that is a little bit unfortunate. I don't think we're going to be able to fit this. Oh, no. It's, like, brutal. Oh, I thought I had it for a second. I think we could squeeze it, dude. I think we could squeeze this. Get in my backpack, please. Come on. Okay, maybe not. I'm done with it. I'm over it. Let's see what else we got. Anything else? Ooh, hello. What is going on with all the goodies today? 
I'm liking the suppressors, bro. The suppressor drops. All the suppressor drops are incredibly, incredibly helpful here. And then we got another grenade. Okay, our sling is going to be packed to the absolute max. My tracking, no! How could you? Okay, and then we got our other scope. We should be... Or was that a... It might have been a flashlight. Oh my god, it was. Okay, wait, can I throw this on my, uh, my CX-8? <gasps> Dude. Okay, I think I found my new favorite SMG. And also, wait a minute. They actually mess with the flashlights. So the more distance that you have away, the wider it actually gets compared to it just being a base flashlight. Okay, that's really cool. Like, look at this, dude. Whoa! They completely reworked, like, the lighting system for flashlights. Oh, that's really, really cool. Because before, you used to be able to, like, light up anything no matter what. So this is actually a really, really nice update to go and see. Let's go and chuck you right inside of here if we can. Beautiful. I'm just going to stack this as much as we can. Is that a laser sight? Oh, my goodness, bro. You were just treating me so well right off of the new wipe. I mean, I have had a lot of deaths leading up to this, but in the same way, I mean, you, you can't go wrong with what we got right now, dude. This is wild. Can I, like, put you on here, please? Nice. Right on the back of the backpack. I'm glad this still works. I am literally trying to conserve so much space. Okay. And then we got another grip, which these actually go for a lot of money. So I'm just going to go and store that bad boy. And let's get back to it, dude. But also... Now that I think of it, I could probably throw this on the top and then put a grip on the bottom of the gun. Let's see. So if I go like this. Oh, yes, dude. And then maybe what I could possibly do here, I might be able to go and chuck the grip right on the bottom of this bad boy. Okay, this is sick. I like this a lot. Big bad dude. Now we're talking. We got a flashlight attachment now that we literally found from the raid and also a foregrip that we can use with this bad boy. And now we are in a very, very good position. I'm really liking the Picatinny positions that they actually got on this bad boy. Like, it just, it feels comfortable, dude. I really like it. Let's see. I gotta assume we probably got some more Fenix that are walking around on this other end. Right? They gotta be probably just, like, walking around for another flank here. Doing, like, the little cycles. But also, let's go and check boss spawn and see if we have any, like, any boshy boys over here. Hello? Okay, no bossy boys, but this was looted for sure. We got some more footsteps on the other end. I don't know if I'm going to be able to even fit this. But a man can dream, right? Ooh, yeah, there's no shot. So I think what I'm going to just go and do them. So I'm going to grab this water bottle, and I'm going to just chug this bad boy while we're here. Yes, thank you. Let's go and get our water up. Unfortunately, our food's going to be a little bit a little bit dry, unfortunately. But let's go and chuck that, and let's get back to it, guys. I just want to go and try to get like these Fenix kills and try to work on that quest as much as possible to get all the XP, dude, because we desperately are in need of leveling up our traders, and I am totally signed up for that. I think we got some of the footsteps happening in Garage, it seems like. Yeah, they're definitely in Garage. Hopefully he doesn't see me. I don't want to make too much noise here, because I don't want to get botted by a Fenix. Okay, we should be able to go and flank this. Hello, Mr. Fenix! <laughs> and you're dead. Oh my god, this gun is so good. I am loving this thing so much right now. Okay, can I fit this? I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit this in my backpack. Okay, that one did. I don't know even what mags these are. These look like looties. I might be tripping, though. Come on. Oh, bro, we can actually fit these? No way. Okay, I wonder if Squeaky ever got looted. Because I haven't really checked Squeaky at all. So I might go and run there. Let me fit. Nice. Okay, perfect. Go and grab our gun once again. How are we looking on ammo? Completely out. Okay, what about you? That's a two tick. Okay. We can work with this. Let's see if we can possibly get a few more kills here within Missile Silo. And then I think I'm probably just going to go and dip. And try my best to go and get a successful evac because... We have not had one yet, and I am thirsty for a dubby dub. A rubby dubby dub. Okay, anyone over here? We got an evac here too, as well. <gasps> gun scared the crap out of me. Is that an AK? Okay, no, it's SKS. Woo! Bro, if he would have had an AK and just botted me, I would have cried. Okay, Mr. Fenix body, you need to move. Okay, your friend here needs to go and loot up some SKS ammo. Actually, you know what? Duh. Let's just go and throw those on, like, the actual... Vest. Okay, we might just have to say screw it and go with what we got. Because I don't know if there's anything that we can do with these other mags. Yeah, no shot. Okay, let's go and put the backpack on. What are we looking for time? I'm assuming that we're pretty good on time. Yeah, 11 more minutes. Okay, so let's see what else we possibly got over by Squeaky. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. 
Wait a second. Okay, I thought I seen a helmet, but that was just the man's head. I am trippy on, my guys. Okay, I feel like I did already see this. Why do I feel like I've already ran in here and checked this? Okay, someone looted heavy already, dude. What? Okay. Did they leave anything, though? They got tuna. They got a smoke grenade, bro. Okay, I'm gonna go and steal this, and we're gonna chuck that right in the back of pack, if I can. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit this, actually. I can now see why they left their, their smoke grenade, because it takes up so much freaking space. Oh, my God. Come on. I can glitch it in, I believe. Use the force! Okay, yeah, that's not happening. Okay, you know what? I think with the way this has all been going, I'm just gonna go for a successful evac and get my pretty little butt out of here. So let's go and jump across and let's make our way out of this bad boy. And while we're at it, I might as well just go and grab two hands of guns here. So I'm gonna grab the SKS and we're gonna go and take this out of the raid and make our way back home to the base, baby. So we got our CX-8, we got an SKS, and we got a few player kills if I got this correct. So we did a pretty dang good raid there, here for Ghost of the Boar Man on the brand new wipe day. So I'm just, I'm happy to be back and playing, dude. So it looks like we got a lot of Fennecs, but only one ghost on that, that run. But regardless, I'm really happy with the way this actually panned out. I'm gonna go and just bring my guns back and uh, hopefully go and stack these on my little gun wall. But only thing is though, is I should probably go and get rid of all my other stuff, because we have a lot of it. Usually I go and like waste all my time going and like, you know, basically selling all my items or going and like trashing them, but I think, oh, but in the same way, I've, I've held my honor. I've held my honor of not using those items. I don't know yet, dude. I don't know what to feel yet. Okay, so let's go and sell the bolt action. Let's also go and sell the SKS, and then we got a ton of other- <gasps> Holy crap, I thought I placed you on there. Why was that on- What? How did that end up there? Can we, like, set this, like, on the walls? I wish there was a different way to, like, stack these. Or, like, put them on mannequins? That'd be so nice. Okay, so, SKS magazines. Let's go and click on this and see what we can sell them for. It looks like our most that we're gonna get out of it is gonna be Shiro. So we'll go and sell this to Shiro. The SKS is gonna be going over to Spectre. Our SX-8 is gonna be going over to this man over here, Mr. Shiro. And then the M19, ooh. So that's gonna give us not a lot of money. Hello? Why are we getting more money from the Merchant of Death? compared to Spectre off of that. That's a little bit weird to me. But ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be our first successful raid here on the brand new Ghost of Tabor wipe. But I think what we're gonna have to go and do, guys, is I'm gonna have to go and like basically stack all my crap in this room for the time being because we don't have really any other spots to go and do all this at, dude. Because what we have to end up doing is we have to probably go and spend a lot of our vault money in order to go and buy these other rooms to go and open all this stuff up, which is both exciting, but also it's gonna take a lot of time to go and do all that. But for now, I'm just gonna go and place my weapon there. Um, what else do we have? We got a bunch of crap, don't we? Now it's time to start our suppressor collection, dude. That was actually a really, really good run for lootables. Like, we got a lot, a lot of goodies. Dude, I completely forgot we got the laser sight, too. Oh my god. Really, really good gear for, like, just getting started, man. This is exciting. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna be it for this video here on Ghost of Tabor. If you did end up enjoying it, like to see more content made on this game then be sure to smash that mother fracking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys stay up to date with all of your content we post and also on top of that be sure to let me know what you guys think of the brand new wipe update man like i am so excited to be back here within tabor and actually just go like full send when it comes down to making content man because if you guys don't know it's been a while since i've been like heads down and grinding on this game but this update and this wipe this time around like i'm gonna try to save as much karunas as possible and make my room pack dude like i'm gonna get so much money i'm gonna try to get as many spoons as possible it's gonna be a fun grind so yeah anyways guys that's be it for me hope you enjoyed the video and as always keep it toasty my friends later i got some shells for you boy oh it's in his eye oh i fixed it i wouldn't no. die well right no, here no. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they get it! yeah why in the heck do you not have clothes. You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences!